And uh, presumably everybody wants to start with these collision ratings so that they can all lose their minds because that's what people are going to do. The show did 816,000 viewers and a point three three in 18 to 49. We had the thing on the, I think it was here on the chat, might have been somewhere else, but what was the over-under? I think it was, what is the over-under? Over-under 850, I think. Was it 850, everyone was Something saying? Something like that. And, uh, you know, some people said higher, some people said lower. I, I predicted right on the dot, 850. It's like 849 or 851 or something like that. And uh, ended up doing a little bit less than that. But the demo, which was a .33, uh, actually beat the Dynamite demo for Wednesday. So if you're looking at how did they compare, well, Dynamite did slightly more viewers. And Collision did a slightly better demo. And the premieres, this would be the very first Dynamite ever and the very first Rampage ever, did a .31 and a .68 in 18 to 49. So the Collision debut actually beat the Rampage debut in 18 to 49, but not in viewers. And there was some competition... We had the College World Series, which is a .39 and 18 to 49. That UFC Fight Night card, .37 and 18 to 49. And uh, the game did 1.6 million viewers. UFC did 943,000 viewers. And uh, there's going to be competition every single Saturday. There's not going to be a Saturday where there's not competition. And I would say that this was a, you know, since it's around what I predicted, I mean, I can't say it's a bad number. Some people have decided it is a bad number, and, you know, it's the number. It's what it did. It's Saturday night. I mean, anybody expecting it to have done gigantic numbers? I mean, if you were thinking it's going to do 1.2 million, and so you're looking at this and saying it's a disaster, well, that's on you, because there's there was nothing that indicated it was going to do, like, 1.2 million viewers. This was what it was going to do, and, in fact, the demo was a lot better than I expected it to be. Now, the two things... The two key talking points are how did CM Punk do and what are we going to do going forward? And the reality is with virtually every premiere, almost every single one, you know, it's always highest right out of the gate. And it's almost always uh, it falls from whatever it does in the debut. Now, we don't know if that's going to happen here because largely the Dynamite audience watched Collision. That's what happened. The people that watched Wednesday watched Saturday. And the Saturday show, it was a good show. It was, you know, similar but different from a Dynamite. But it wasn't like it was a rampage show with a bunch of nothing happening matches or anything like that. I mean, they had big stars. They had returns. They had big matches. It's possible that it'll settle in at what it's doing here. It's also possible that it's going to fall and end up doing in the 600s or so on a, on a regular basis, depending on what the, the competition is. The quarter hours, which uh, Brandon Thurston had, I can find them here. Quarter hours. Uh, this is the collision quarters, and it was not a straight line, but it was not a show that grew throughout it was not a show that fell throughout it essentially was stable at about 800 and you know 20,000 and the opening segment with punk was the highest rated segment on the show at 868 and the main event with punk was the third highest rated quarter at 834 the second highest rated quarter on the show was that Andrade match with buddy matthews which was awesome and really it was you know some segments uh particularly the segments that had a lot of commercial breaks the uh first part of the andrade match and the jeff jarrett video and acclaimed promo uh both of those were down in the 760 range but you know that's what happens when you have multiple commercial breaks and so really the show just largely did you know 830 840 and Punk boosted it a little bit, but not a lot. I mean, he was he was slightly above the average. 
And uh, and that's the story of the collision number. So everybody's going to go crazy. If you're a, you know, punk fan, you'll say this. If you're not a punk fan, you're going to say that. But, you know, objectively, it was a very good demo, a good number. And the question now is, what's next? And we're going to find out a lot more this Saturday. And we'll find out a lot more by week three and week four. So those are the collision numbers. Yeah, I thought I'd do a little bit under, but I didn't know how much under because I had no idea exactly what the numbers were prime time on Saturday. But what it tells me is, as everybody has been saying, there's going to be so much competition going on. And you know on just now what an average UFC fight night does if you don't pay attention to those numbers when it comes to the demo. And you can see how... A weekend, a Saturday night that's got WWE with a premium live event and UFC with a show going on and college football or college basketball or professional basketball, how this number could vary greatly week after week, especially when we get to fall. But for right now, I don't think anybody can really complain about that number. They need to try to keep it going tonight on Dynamite. That's why I believe CM Punk is going to make an appearance, you know, no matter what. It doesn't seem like that's going to be too much of a secret. I thought Collision was just different enough from Dynamite. It felt different. I thought the Buddy Matthews and Roddy match, I mean, that felt like a match that would pop up on a New Japan show. I mean, it just had that vibe to me. So if you can somehow continue to weave the best of what you do on Dynamite, the best of what you just do in general as AEW with just a little bit of a difference, and obviously CM Punk's a big difference, you know, different people on the rosters who are only on one brand, guys like Miro, people like that, you know, if they're strong, obviously they're going to have that aesthetic going forward. For him, but as long as the show feels a little different and still flows, I think it's going to be a good thing. I really think Kevin Kelly and Nigel McGuinness setting the tone for that show with their commentary. Not that anything's wrong with Excalibur, Tony Schiavone, and Taz, but it is a lot more laughs, it's a lot more jokes, it's a lot more their style. So I thought just the announcers themselves were a great addition and a great difference that'll make Collision stand out. But Again, when it comes to the numbers, you know, who's really going to be able to say until we see these things play out over time? And frankly, again, by the time we get used to them in summer, then we got a whole thing about fall looking at them. So there you go. Well, you know, here's a number to talk about, and that is SmackDown on Friday night. I don't want to get in this argument that the bloodline isn't over. I don't want to hear it, okay? This SmackDown show on Friday night... Did 2.43 million viewers and a .67 in 18 to 49, which are very good numbers. I mean, they're excellent numbers. It was number one in all of television, .47 and 18 to 34. But here's the key to this, okay? the story. The main event of this show, where Jey Uso had to make his decision, that segment did 2.8 million viewers. (laughs) The segment prior to that did 2.3 billion viewers. They added a half million viewers for that final segment of the show. There is nothing in wrestling. Nothing. I can't, I mean, literally, you'd have to go back to the Monday Night Wars. There is nothing in wrestling that over the last year has more consistently spiked these numbers then this bloodline storyline. It happened with Sami Zayn. It happened several times in the build-up to Montreal. Now it's happened again with this segment here. It happened actually a couple of weeks ago for the Roman Reigns Thousand Day Celebration. It's happened again here for Jey Uso making his big decision. I mean, you have to go back to the 90s to find anything in any promotion That is exploding numbers the way that this bloodline storyline is exploding numbers. And it has been exploding numbers for, like, a long time now. So anyway, this thing is hot. 2.8 million viewers for that segment. And Granny, did you know that in the room right now is an Emmy Award winner? I know. I want to congratulate you, Wow. Thank you. The only one here who's ever achieved anything of value. Nice work, Shane. (laughs) Way to go, buddy. (laughs) Let's see this big gold Emmy. 
Wow, look at that, oh, everybody. Wow. Holy smokes. That qualifies. That's Prefer to hold it by thing. the bottom to it as well. Let's get a picture for the front page. Yeah, you want it. <laughs> <laughs>